Hello, my amazing artist. Allow me to introduce you to the artist Alma Woodsy Thomas. Alma Thomas was an African American expressionist, painter, and art educator, or art teacher, best known for her colorful abstract paintings. Alma lived from 1891 to 1978 in Washington, D.C., and she is most paint, uh, famous for the patterns, color, and rhythm that her paintings have. Notice that she painted with a lot of little different lines going around a middle circle. Today we are going to create a collage inspired by Alma Thomas's work. To begin, please write your name on your paper and then turn it over. We are going to create a small circle in the middle of your big page and we're going to use this tracer here. So your hand needs to hold it down, that's your helper hand, and then your other hand is your tracing hand. So you'll go around the edge of that tracer, trying your very best to create a circle in the middle of the paper. Okay, next thing we will do is create a small circle inside the middle of that big circle. So we're going to use the glue stick to help us. Set your glue stick down, hold it with your helper hand, and then your tracer hand is going to go around the edge of that glue stick, trying your very best to create a circle. Next, you will color in that circle with a marker, and you can choose whatever color you want. All right, now we're going to use these paper strips. Choose one strip, and you're going to tear this into smaller little pieces. So notice one way you could set it down and then use your fingers to tear or hold them in your fingers and start ripping apart the small pieces. This definitely does take some practice and it will require your art muscles in your fingers. But the cool thing is that the, these pieces that you tear can be whatever shape and size that you want. After you have torn a few off, now we're going to glue these down onto the white paper. So using a glue stick, you're going to make a circle around that marker of the glue, then place the strips of paper on top of that glue. Now I'm doing it this way because if I were to put glue on each little piece, that would take forever. Instead, a more efficient use of our time is to place the glue down, then put the strips of paper on top. If you notice some areas need a little more glue, that's okay, just add a little bit, then place the paper on top of that glue. Okay, and then you repeat, grab another strip and start tearing. Now notice what I'm doing here. I'm only going to tear a few pieces because I don't want to lose my little strips of paper. When I'm done with that strip, I put it back in the bin. Now I repeat the process. I'm going to place down my glue, making a circle, and then I will put the pink strips on top of that glue. For this project, we are creating a collage. And a collage is when you tear or cut shapes of paper, arrange the shapes of paper, and then attach them to your base. The base is our big white piece of paper, and we are using a glue stick to attach the shapes. Also artists, notice that I am completing a full circle of one color. Then I choose my next color strip, tear those, put my glue down, and then put the strips on top of the glue. I'm creating circles with circles around them and circles around them and circles around those. These are called concentric circles. Concentric circles have patterns, meaning something is repeated over and over. In this case, it's the circles that keep repeating. And the use of this pattern creates rhythm. And rhythm in art is just the repetition of an element of art. Well, we are repeating the same shape over and over, and we're using a variety of colors here to create a very pleasing pattern. Also, I am leaving space between each of my torn pieces of paper, and that is so that I can tell these are torn pieces of paper and that I'm making a collage. When I place my piece of paper down, I'm giving it a light little massage to make sure that it stays. 
Okay, friends, I'm gonna fast forward here to show you what we'll do at, when you're almost done with this project. Woohoo, look at that. Now, you might notice that some of the pieces of paper are going off of my base, meaning they're hanging over the edge of the white paper. That's totally fine. I have a solution for that. So as you're working, if that happens, no problem. It's actually going to create a really nice effect if you let some of it hang off. It'll create the illusion that the circle is continuing and it will keep the rhythm flowing in your artwork. When you finish with your collage, do a wiggle test, lift up your paper and see if any pieces fall off. If no pieces fall off, you can turn it over and give your paper a massage on the back of your paper. And then let's fix these sides here. So I'm just going to trim off the extra colored paper that hangs over the edge of my base. And with this, I'm going really slow. I'm using baby shark chomps with my scissors little cuts as I move my hand against the edge. If I were to use big daddy shark chomps, then I'd probably cut my base and that would really ruin my artwork. So go nice and slow, really use a lot of focus here. And then when you're all finished, turn it over and voila, you have a beautiful Alma Thomas inspired collage. I hope you have fun creating, take chances and stay curious.